Mission accomplished. The two Taikonauts, China's astronauts, clambered back into their home for the next three months, Beijing's new space station. The core module of the station, named Tiangong, meaning Heavenly Palace, was launched in April. There will be more spacewalks. The station will keep growing, Liu said. Meanwhile, on Mars, a Chinese rover was exploring. Video shows the vehicle trundling over a rocky surface. There is even sound. An eerie mechanical groaning. Since landing in May the Jurong probe has been busy seeking clues as to whether Mars once supported life. There is no answer yet. So far it has traveled just over 410 meters. China is only the second country to land and operate a rover on the Red Planet, after the US. The frantic tempo of the China National Space Administration's CNSA recent program is reminiscent of the Cold War, when Moscow and Washington were superpower rivals scrambling to put the first man in space and land on the moon. Half a century on, space has opened up. It is less ideological and a lot more crowded. About 72 countries have space programs, including India, Brazil, Japan, Canada, South Korea and the UAE. The European Space Agency is active too, while the UK boasts the most private space startups after the US. Okay, Non-state actors play an increasingly important role in space exploration. Elon Musk's SpaceX vehicles have made numerous flights to the International Space Station, ISS, and since last year they have transported people as well as cargo. Later this year Musk is due to send his own all-civilian crew into orbit, though he isn't going himself. Even so, space still reflects tensions on Earth. Astropolitics follows terrapolitics, says Mark Hilborn, a lecturer in defense studies at King's College London. Up there anything goes, he adds. Space governance is a bit fuzzy. The biggest challenge to U.S. space supremacy comes not from Russia but from China. In 2011 Congress prohibited U.S. scientists from cooperating with Beijing. It's fear, scientific espionage. Taikonauts are banned from visiting the ISS, which has hosted astronauts from 19 countries over the past 20 years. In its annual threat assessment this April, the Office of the U.S. Director of National Intelligence, DNI described China as a near-peer competitor, pushing for global power. It warns, Beijing is working to match or exceed U.S. capabilities in space to gain the military, economic, and prestige benefits that Washington has accrued from space leadership. The Biden administration suspects Chinese satellites are being used for non-civilian purposes. The People's Liberation Army integrates reconnaissance and navigation data in military command and control systems, the DNI says. Satellites are inherently dual use. It's not like the difference between an F-15 fighter jet and a 737 passenger plane, Hilborn says. Once China completes the Tiangong space station next year, it is likely to invite foreign astronauts to take part in missions. One goal to build new soft power alliances. Beijing says interest from other countries is enormous. The low Earth orbit station is part of an ambitious development strategy in the heavens rather than on land, a sort of belt and rocket initiative. Russia has traditionally worked closely with the Americans, even when terrestrial relations were bad. Now it is moving closer to Beijing. In March, China and Russia announced plans to co-build an international lunar research station. The agreement comes at a time when Vladimir Putin's government has been increasingly isolated and subject to Western sanctions. These rival geopolitical factions are fighting over a familiar mountainous surface, the moon. In 2019 a Chinese rover landed on its far side, a first. China is now planning a mission to the moon's south pole to establish a robotic research station and an eventual lunar base, which would be intermittently crewed. Screenshot of an image take by the Chang'e 4 lunar explorer on the far side of the moon. Far side of the moon, China's Chang'e 4 probe makes historic touchdown. NASA, meanwhile, has said it intends to put a woman and a person of color on the moon by 2024. SpaceX has been hired to develop a lander.
the return to the moon, after the last astronaut, Commander Eugene Cernan, said goodbye in December 1972, would be a staging post for the ultimate, giant leap, NASA says, sending astronauts to Mars. The space race is back on, but who will win?